Monife here, and we are at an event with the Tafari Tribe's lovely Sandra N. Stedman. How are you doing today, Sandra? Good. I'm very good. Today's my birthday, so I'm very joyful for another year. And I'm having a good time, as you say. Okay, well, happy birthday to you. You look you, lovely, you. lovely, 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 loving the outfit and your nice accessories. And of course, there's a little Indian touch to it, you know. Yes, very Indian. So can you tell us a little bit about what's happening here today and what is Tafari's position here? Okay, um, well, Tafari tribe, along with um, Sister Carol and Sydney Mills of St Steel Pulse, we're um, the side that um, every year those go to Jamaica for the our, our birthday, we share the same birthday. So because of that, we're going to start um, having annual birthday parties now, but with the more like giving back to the community. So um, Sister Carol has the um, the Shashamani school in Ethiopia, so that's her pet, pet thing. Um, Sydney has um, a school up in, um, I think it's in um, St. Thomas, Jamaica, that he's doing. Well, for me, my thing is, this is in the future, we're going to do reggae farm aid. Because to me, farming is very important in terms of our co community, our Jamaican community. And we all need to plant, get back to the, to the, to the, to the, to the ground, to the earth. So that's the reason why I'm really encouraging them to do the reggae farm, farm aid. Okay, so that's basically it, yeah. You're such a noble person to be hosting a fundraising event on your birthday. Not a lot of people. Give back. You have to give back. Instead of, instead of, instead of us getting, we want to give. Which is a very noble thing. You have her here from the Tafari tribe who is giving back on her birthday. How many people would you know would ever do something like that? If there's anyone that you could say what's up to, who would that be for this specific evening? This I have to say what's up to all of our um, supporters because we've been in business for almost a year and a half and we've been greatly supported by the community and I want to say what's up to the community for supporting us and also to my family, you know, who's here, here enjoying ourselves today. Hey, what's up New York? Monife here at the event that's being sponsored by Tafari Tribe featuring Sister Carol in the awareness of AIDS, about the awareness of AIDS within Africa and even in our communities here in Flatbush. So I'm here with my good friend and legendary reggae artist, Sweetie Don, how are you? Yes, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Just, just come back from Jamaica, so. Okay. I, yeah, man, you know, so you feel nice. Wow. I'm a miss it already, so. Uh-oh, <laughs> it's so cold up here. So how did you hear about the event that's happening today? Are you here to celebrate one of the birth strongs of Sister Carol or anyone else? Yeah, most most definitely because when I came back, um, I heard what was advertising through. Not even heard, I saw it on the net and then I make few calls just to see how accurate it was. So we we'll find out Sydney Mills, we talk to Sydney Mills and Sydney Mills tell me how Sister Carol is going to be here. So he say, yo, I can't miss it. So. Here I am. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, before I let you go, I must let you know that What's Up New York, we're having a Flatbush AIDS right. Day that's going to raise awareness and even to do testing specifically within the community. If there are any words of encouragement or words of advice that you would have towards the youth and even the community of Flatbush Avenue in regards of AIDS awareness, what would you say? If I have any word of encouragement. Yeah, or any words uh, or advice that you would have in regards of AIDS or the the community and the youth. Yo, well, I may have a whole lot of things to say, but right now I'm going to make it brief and, and just get to the point. Okay. You know what I mean? I would love to tell enough people and enough people in general, especially the youth, do not ignore awareness. A lot of people are aware of things, you know, and don't yeah. ignore it because them day-to-day -day lifestyle and whatever. Just don't ignore awareness. You are aware that you should wear a condom. Put on a condom. Don't make emotion get the best of you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so if there's anybody that you would like to say what's up to, who would you like to do that for? Uh huh? If you would like to say what's up to anybody, who would that be? To What's Up TV. Thank you. <laughs> no one else? Yes, I always big up everybody. So this not, this moment, may I take the moment for big up What's Up TV? No, screech down. Mr. VT them put out a thing what they call reggae gang country. 
And a long time you are sing about country. And we are telling them about country. So me why you tell them about Chile? Well, we've, we've got deep beyond country. We're going to the root and go, Oh, lay, lay, oh, lay, oh, lay, oh, lay, oh, lay. Pass me the ganja, pass me the ganja, pass me the ganja pipe. Pass me the ganja, pass me the ganja, pass me the ganja. Say me a Mikey, see down now we are like some lyrics. Mikey say for right one about the morning split. Me say all right then do a guy write about it before you know it. Tell me the lyrics finish. Me write about the weed and now me roll up a split from me just get the light and me first just pop it make a sound like. <coughs> I'm a liar, yes, I'm good, eh? Me never hesitate to take a puff off a head. First pull me, pull me, start sing like Jimmy Cliff when you sing. You can get it if you really want. Danger plan, make we chant all night round the mic so people quick. Pass me a big split, people quick. Pass me telephone, Charlie Sanders. Pass me the ganja, pass me the ganja, pass me the ganja, pipe. Hey, what's up, New York? We are here at Sandra's birthday bash and Tafari's tribe foundation and their fundraiser that's going on this evening. And I'm here with the legendary Tony Screw from Downbeat. How are you doing today, sir? Yes, I'm doing fine and you know, just fine. Celebrating the Martin Luther King. I you know the snow, everything is nice. And I mean, I know Sister Carol thinks so we have to pass through and support, support it. it. Yeah, man. So we hear that you're getting an award that's coming up in this March. How do you feel about accepting yes, this I award? I feel wonderful, you know, and I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to accept it and everything like that. You know, so thanks very much. And, um, you know, I think um, I would say, yes, yeah, self-praise. Don't miss is well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> Modest guy. Yes, you know, so it's tough respect and um, they should keep doing more things like that. Encourage the big man, okay? Hey, what's up, New York? I'm here with my good, good friend, Mr. Mikey Jarrett. How are you today? Well, bless up, Manifa. Big singer. Good host. What's up to the world? What's up, New York? What's up, TV? Well, I'm blessed to be here because on a day like today, is a special occasion. Bless up the black Cinderella. Bless up my brother Sidney Mills and also the great Dr. Martin Luther King because he had fight for freedom, liberty for people of all color, creed and race, especially black race. So it's a pleasure to be here tonight. Regardless, it could be freezing cold outside, but it's warm inside. Yeah, very <laughs> warm inside. So, can you look, tell us a little bit, like, what brought you here specifically? Is there anything that you're looking forward to seeing here this evening? No, well, I just come to give my support and my respect to Sydney Mills and Sister Cara. Because, as you know, we are all New York based artists and Sister Carol, they crowned her queen and crowned me king from 1983 in a galaxy ballroom in Brooklyn. So big up the whole Brooklyn, the whole New York, but when it comes to original foundation people, I when I'm not driving, I will walk on my footmobile just to be here. Wow. <laughs> All right, so if there's anybody that you could say what's up to, who would that be? Well, first of all, give all praises to God Almighty because without his blessing and life and good health, I couldn't be here. See, big up my longtime friend, Bellimus. <laughs> when no people don't know, you know what I mean, Mr. Sean, behind the scene, because if it wasn't for him, a lot of people wouldn't get to see Mikey Jared from back in the days. And what's up? TV, whether it was CIN or it's on B Cat. And in your great future, you can't forget your past. Never you turn your back on your friends. 
Good friends are better than pocket money. So through ups and down, God bless all of the people them. Love. Seeing big up Mark, big up the whole entire crew. Seeing including you. Thank Love you. Enough. Happy 2012, Mike Jarrett said. Alright, so I'm sure that you know and if you haven't heard by now, What's Up New York is hosting a Flatbush AIDS Day that's gonna be at the K and Mark. Can we expect to see you there? It's for a just cause. And um will be there to give my support. So make it a date. Put it on the calendar. Matt Daddy will be there as long as life is in the body. I will be there. Okay. You understand? Yes. Supporting the community because AIDS is very important. We need to knock it out of our community, especially Flatbush. We have to let the people know that AIDS awareness is a dangerous killer, Mr. AIDS. Just like Mr. Cancer. Yeah. Just like the next one in here, Mr. Diabetes. You understand? So anything towards helping the community and I can give my service okay. as long as I am in the country and not book for a date I will be there All right. Hi, my name is Suzette and I'm, on, I'm from Flatbush. All right, I have a question on family. My question about family is a lot of women, a lot of single parents, because it's not women and it's not men, but a lot of single parents, when you're a single parent, how can you resolve an issue without using uh, child support and also family court and taking away parental rights? That's a question that I have. Suzette, that's an excellent question. A lot of times families want to resolve these issues outside of the court. Uh, issues pertaining to child custody, child support, child visitation. And you can do that. And one way to do that is by drafting what is called a settlement agreement between both parties. And by doing that, both parties can uh, say in the settlement agreement, what it is they're willing to pay for child support or you know who has visitation and what the time is for visitation who has custody you know who will get visitation depending on who has custody all of this can be done in a settlement agreement however what is important to know is that a court order is trumps a settlement agreement and by that I mean it's more important and that's what the courts are going to look at. So a settlement agreement can resolve the issue outside of court but it's not stronger than a court order and so at some point or another you might want to go to family court to get an order to state um, what child support amount is, what you know, who has child custody, you know what child visitation is you want those things to be stated in a court order so Suzette what I'm saying to you um, what I'm telling you right now is pretty much basic information what you would need to do is seek out a family law attorney who uh, knows how to write these agreements and knows the kind of language that needs to be in these agreements for the court to even consider them 
at all, okay? Hi, I'm Keisha from Canarsie, Brooklyn, and I have a question for the lawyer. My friend has two children, and what is the percentage? Who determines a percentage in a, in a custody battle? Because it seems like they're always fighting over who's going to get what. We don't know what percentage. So can you tell me, can you tell us how, how much can we get for two children? Hey, Keisha, that's a great question. In order to determine the amount of child support you have to pay, we first have to look at what is called the Child Support Standards Act. And this act uh, tells you what percentage you have to go by to determine uh, what the child support amount is. Okay, for example, uh, if you have one child in the relationship, it's 17%. If you have two children, it's 25%. And it goes on and on. So it just depends on uh, how many children you have in the relationship, and that, you know, that will uh, help us determine what the percentage amount is that you have to pay for child support. So, uh, Keisha, I hope that answered your question, and I look forward to many more questions from the viewers. And that's what's up, New York. You're never too young to learn about HIV.
the same way There must be a change somehow There are bad times and good times too So have a little faith in what you do to face in life Today you're up Tomorrow you're down 